About two years ago, I met this young man, and allegedly, he was generating electricity from stone. He took me to his showroom and showed me some of the things he is doing, including the electricity he allegedly tapped from a stone. But somehow, I couldn't believe it because I didn't see how it is possible, and I gave my own opinion. But maybe I was too quick to judge. I believe that this stone which is generating this electricity, which is buried underground, something else was buried with it, and this could be a lithium battery. Meaning that if you remove this stone from the ground, there will still be electricity in the house because the electricity is being generated by the lithium battery. But I will be happy if what I'm saying right now is false. It's been close to two years since I filmed that video and since then, a lot of things have changed and so many people have watched that video. And it's been very interesting looking at different opinions from different people that watched the video. But today, I want to put some things straight, especially some of the things that we were saying in the video. And I want to start with this one. He's trying to be the number two person that we took light from stone. You know, we have already found one before. Okay. That one took it from uh, Kanji down, from inside water. And he wants to be inside the record, he wants to be the number two. He took his own from stone. At this point in the video, you can see the boy and his brother telling me that he wants to be the second person in Nigeria to discover electricity. But this time, not from the dam, but from the stone. And the bad thing is, I kept repeating this word with them. Well, I will blame it on my own ignorance because then I knew nothing about electricity. But for the past few weeks, I've been studying physics and chemistry and I've come to a conclusion that humans did not actually discover electricity. Humans learned about electricity and electricity have always been there. I believe that electricity is a force of nature that have always existed, but humans knew nothing about it. Although there are people that we can credit for helping us learn about electricity and how to tap into it for our own benefit. But I don't think humans discovered electricity. So even if Tolani finds electricity in a stone today, he probably wouldn't be discovering electricity. It will mean that electricity have always existed in the stone. And he just gets to a point where he let us know that there is electricity in the stone. So this is one of the main things I want to put straight. I want to say sorry for my ignorance and that is why I was repeating this word. Even the people that they claim found electricity inside a dam, I don't think they discovered electricity. They just knew that if we build a dam, we can literally generate electricity from the dam. But I kept repeating this word. Anyway, that was two years ago. Another thing I want to put straight is my argument what I said regarding his invention. Whatever this guy is doing, there is more to it than what he's showing us. Let me repeat this again. I am not talking down on his talent. I believe that what he's doing is very amazing and I'll be the happiest person in the world if this is true. I believe that this stone which is generating this electricity, which is buried underground, something else was buried with it and this could be a lithium battery. Meaning that if you remove this stone from the ground, there will still be electricity in the house because the electricity is being generated by the lithium battery. But I will be happy if what I'm saying right now is false. At this point in the video, you can hear me giving my honest opinion. Even though I had no electrical knowledge, I still didn't find any way it was possible to generate electricity from stone. And that is one thing I want to rephrase and put straight today. Now, do I believe that he's generating electricity from stone? No, I still don't believe because I still don't find any way you can generate electricity from stone. But what I said in that video, I want to rephrase it. I've learned that most of the people that help us to understand the things around us were people that are curious. And today, when I look at Tolani, I just see a curious young man who is trying to learn about things surrounding us and looking for a way to use it to help this society. Even though I don't believe he's generating electricity from stone or there is any way he can generate electricity from stone, I commend him for actually being curious and trying something. There is a lot of things around us that we still don't understand, that we still don't know. Just like humans are now talking about AI today, maybe 100 years ago, nobody were actually talking about AI. In the future, there is a lot of things that we'll be talking about that we currently don't know. All these things exist around us, but we don't know it. Until we get to the point where we find out, we will never know. But how can we get to that point if we don't have people like Tolani who are curious and trying to find something that nobody knows? So for that reason, I want to rephrase my words. You see the part where I said he might be generating the electricity from lithium battery? I want to rephrase it and I want to remove it. 
I don't know how he is generating the electricity, but I don't want to say he is generating it from lithium battery. I still don't believe he's generating it from stone, but whichever way he's generating it, I just want to commend him for being curious. And I hope he will continue doing what he's doing. And I hope that he will actually seek for education because the best way to actually achieve what he's looking for is to have a better knowledge of what he is actually trying to do. And I believe education is what will help him gain that knowledge. So Tolani, if you're watching this video, please and please continue what you're doing. And if possible, seek for education. I believe you are one talented young guy that will help us understand some of the things around us in the future. Just like everybody is now integrating AI into their businesses, into everything, there is some time in the future where we might find something similar or even better than AI. And if there are no curious people like Tolani, we might not be able to get to that point. So, today, when I look at Tolani, I just see a curious young man trying to help the society by looking into some of the things that we wouldn't dare to look into. And that is how many of the people that help us understand some of the things that are around us did in the past. I still don't believe he's generating electricity from stone, but I wouldn't say he is generating it from a lithium battery. Whichever way he's generating it, I just want to tell him to keep it up and ask him to seek for education. And that is it for this video. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give the video a like. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more interesting videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.